Ukrainian military intelligence units regained control over the Vovchansk aggregate plant, Ukrainian authorities said in a Tuesday afternoon statement. Fighters of the Gurmuyu carried out a systematic sweep of the plant's buildings, constantly engaging in contact battles with the enemy in densely built-up conditions. In some cases, Ukrainian special forces engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the enemy, the statement said. According to the statement, after securing all 30 buildings of the factory and capturing prisoners, GUR passed the territory to the armed forces of Ukraine. The premises of the Vovchansk aggregate plant served as a stronghold for Russian troops fighting in the area. Russia's advance in the Vovchansk direction started in May 2024, intending to spread Ukrainian troops thin by adding a new direction of active combat. The advance stalled once Russian troops advanced 5 to 10 kilometers deep into Ukrainian territories, but the combat never stopped. The city of Pokrovsk in the Donetsk region is currently practically a ghost town. Most of its residents have left or are leaving heeding the advice of the authorities, writes The Guardian. We don't want to leave. But do we have a choice? The explosions are getting stronger every day. They are louder and more frequent. I don't have a specific plan. I'll try to find a job somewhere. We hoped until the very end that everything would be fine, said local resident Valeria Hanashchuk. There is no gas in the city. Electricity is still working. The railway station closed last week. As did most businesses and the central hospital. The publication writes, Enemy aircraft destroyed bridges in and around Pokrovsk, including the highway connecting the city with the neighboring city of Mirnograd, the publication says. It is noted that out of a population of 50,000, about 18,000 remain in the city. Many of those who remain say they do not have money to rent an apartment in expensive cities such as Pavlograd or Dnipro. Others are stuck due to disability and some are even waiting for Russian troops. Soldier Alexander from Milnorad, who fights as part of the National Guard of Ukraine, described such people as follows. They watch Russian television. They are not very successful. They drink beer smoke cigarettes and say that the state should give them money. Since they do not get this from Ukraine, they want Russia. Volunteer Ara Karapetyan from Vovchansk believes that the Russian offensive will continue, more towns and villages will be destroyed and more civilians will be forced to flee. Putin is crazy. He will not stop at one region. He wants to take over all of Ukraine. This is why we must destroy him. This is a war between good and evil. They want to kill people. We want to save them. I hope that good will win, he said. Let us recall that the chief sergeant of the strike UAV company of Ukraine, Yegor Fyrsov, predicts that in the near future, Russian troops will again try to break through to the city of Pokrovsk and reach the road to Dnipa. They may bypass this agglomeration. They will try to take this agglomeration from the sides in the so-called pincers, as they did in Bakhmut and Avdiivka. That's 99%. But the fact that the enemy will try to take this agglomeration and go on the way to the Dnieper, that's 100%.